Now, isometric drawings are simply 3D looks of an actual 2D application. So, isometric basically means you're drawing 3D, but it isn't actually 3D, it is 2D. So, let's get on with it then. The first thing that I want to do is create the the cube in which we're going to create our isometric drawing. So I'm going to use the line tool, you can press N on your keyboard and you can just draw a straight line. Make it perfectly straight otherwise it won't look like a cube. Also make sure the snap to objects is turned on so that means it'll snap like so. Then if you go to your properties in the spectre click on the line using the selection tool and we can choose the height. I'm gonna make this 30. Okay. Now once you've done that, copy and paste this line. So go to edit, copy, and then edit, paste in place. Not paste, but paste in place. Then hold down shift and press the arrow, the left arrow key, three times. One, two, three. And the reason why I moved over three times is because the height is 30. So I'm going to hold down shift and press the key. 30 times or I could press the left arrow key 30 times but that'll take a lot longer please make sure though that you are zoomed in at 100% when you do this then I'm just gonna go edit paste in place again and move it over to the right three times one two three all you have to do then is select your outer lines and move them up one so hold down shift and press your up arrow okay now that's it now you've created the sides for your 3d cube what you have to do then is click on the line tool and connect these lines up. So connect that up like so. Well, oh, that's not quite there. Uh, at the bottom there. At that point there. Gotta make sure they uh, connect up. Then I have to do is copy these two at the top. So shift select just hold down shift while you're selecting so you can select the two lines edit copy edit paste in place then go to modify transform flip vertically then nudge it up with the arrow keys like so all right okay and there we have it okay we have our 3d cube now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color this thing in so I'm gonna press K or you can just go to the paint bucket tool and I'll paint this in a light green and then what I'm gonna do is go to my colors palette just drag that out you can go to window and then color or press shift F9 on Mac or PC and it will open up the colors palette now I want to fill in all of these okay like so uh, we will make this darker and we'll make this in between okay like that and I'm just gonna simply select this and press F8 you can remove the lines if you honestly want to. You can create a, a 3D cube effect like that. Um, but we're just going to select everything that we've just drawn. Press F8. Call this cube. Like so. Then what I'm going to do is drag this panel off. And I'm going to tell this to copy and paste. So edit, copy, and then edit, paste. Or paste in place, whatever you would like. And you can just do that by pressing Control C and Control V. Uh, on the Mac, it's Command V, or sorry, Command C, and then Command V to paste. Or you can just use the menu to do it, okay? And then what we have to do is move it with our arrow keys, holding down the Shift. And what we have to do now is hold down the Control key, or if you're on the Macintosh, the Command key, and press down. Hold, hold the Control key down, press down, and it should take it below this object okay we unfortunately sometimes flash doesn't work so we have to arrange and then you can see center back and as you can see control down or command down but unfortunately it's not doing that so we'll send it to the back okay right so they're at the front now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste that you can do some loads and loads of wacky shapes okay all types of different shapes. Uh, you can create cubes and everything else and so forth. Has that got alpha in it? I think I want a bit more alpha. Maybe not that much alpha. <laughs> um, let's increase that. 
Okay, so there you have it. Alright, and as you can see, you can make really cool shapes, like so, just by arranging these, like so. Doing this real quick. You can stack them on top of one another. Again, if you use your hotkeys, it goes much, much faster. Okay, and then you can just kind of like copy these parts. And there you go, you've created your isometric drawing. Now with Flash CS3 or Flash 8, you can turn the background to black, obviously you can do that in all versions. But what you can't do is add filters in previous versions, such as uh, the glow and the blurs and everything else. Um, so you can make this quite a cool green glow, like that. Like so. Like so. You can knock them out so you can get some really cool effects like that, okay? Um, and you can do much more different types of effects, of course, if you would like. Uh, you can change the color, like so, and you can also tell it not to knock the objects out. You can also say to this, uh, change the, adjust the color, so you can get some quite cool looking objects like that, or isometric drawings, and it does create a really cool effect. So try and implement this on your website, have some cool 3D looking drawings inside of Flash CS3 Professional.